Gas shrouding us. There, deep inside, a light pulling the dust and gas towards it, heating up, merging into a ball of burning hot gas. Like a star, like our sun, in miniature. Inside, it's millions of degrees. So hot, it's beginning to trigger nuclear reactions, the kind that keep our sun shining, making energy, radiation, light. A star is being born. Orion's dark cloud is a vast star factory. We're witnessing the birth of the future universe. We've come to expect destruction, but this is one of the universe's greatest acts of creation, star birth. This doesn't look right. Jets of gas exploding out with tremendous force, blasting dust and gas out for millions of miles. It's unbelievably violent and creative. Nebula, vast glowing clouds of gas hanging in space. With no wind out here, they'll take thousands of years to disperse. They seem to be forming a vast stellar sculpture Nature is more than a scientist, an engineer. It's an artist on the grandest of scales. And this is a masterpiece. Stars are born, grow up, and then then what? Do they die? Do they slip quietly into the night or go out with a bang? Somewhere between here and the edge of the universe lies the answer. Luminous clouds suspended in space encircling what was once a star like our own sun. All that's left of it are these brightly colored gases, elements formed by nuclear reactions deep inside, released into space on its death. Green and violet, hydrogen and helium, the raw materials of the universe. Red and blue, nitrogen and oxygen, the building blocks of life on Earth. For us to live, stars like this had to die. Every atom in our body was produced by nuclear fusion. In stars that died long before the Earth was even born. We are all the stuff of stars. Our family tree begins here.
at its heart, the ghost of a star. A white dwarf, white, hot, small, but unbelievably dense. In the star's dying moments, its atoms fused and squeezed together, making it so dense that just a teaspoon of this white dwarf would weigh one ton. It's a chilling premonition of our sun's fate. Six billion years from now, it'll become a white dwarf. Its death will herald the end of life on Earth. Makes you wonder how many other worlds have come and gone. Celestial stories left untold. Lost forever. But the greatest story of them all is still to be told. We must go back through time to the very first chapter to learn how the universe began. The scattered remains of a dead star, the Crab Nebula. 6,000 light years from home, deep inside, a stellar graveyard. We've learned so much, seen things we'd never have believed possible. Now sights like this, wonders once beyond imagination, we take in our stride. We're ready to face whatever lies ahead, determined to reach the edge of the universe. This is the calm after the storm, after a massive explosion, a supernova that turned a star into dust and gas. The eye of the storm, a spinning, pulsating star, a pulsar. Gravity has squeezed the giant star's core down to this. It's just 12 miles across, unimaginably dense. One pinhead of this would weigh hundreds, maybe millions of tons. And as it shrank, like a figure skater spinning on the spot, arms outstretched, then pulling them in, it began to spin faster. Two beams of light, energy, radiation, spinning 30 times a second, powering the huge cloud of dust and gas. There's so much radiation here, more even than on the sun. That was easily the deadliest thing we've encountered so far. Once it would have terrified us. But now we realize that without the dangers, there'd be no wonders. Without the nightmares, there'd be no dreams. <laughs> 